Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick reaction to Amberlynn's new video. So it, the title of it, hang on, let me look real quick. Vlogs are back, apologizing, and so raw is canceled. So the part that got my attention was the apologizing because we all know she's been very, 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 very rude <laughs> to her audience recently. And so we're going to see if she's ready to apologize for that. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, here we go. Hello, hello. Okay, welcome to a new video. I have been using my camera for like months now, but we're back to using my phone. So, people have been saying I've been using a filter. No, it's just my camera is good quality. It's Mark. It's the Canon Mark, uh, Mark II or something like that. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I am eating. So, this is from a Greek restaurant. And it's just some rice with some chicken. This is white sauce. That's like literally what they call it is white sauce. I have no idea. What it actually is. Um, I asked for lettuce and they gave me like the tiniest bit of lettuce I've ever seen in my life. Also some olives, feta, onion, and it Okay, just a second. How many times has she said like, I wanted the healthy thing, but it, it, instead they gave me the unhealthy thing. Remember all the, the there was one with a sandwich. She was like, I wanted to get the the Mediterranean veggie or something. But look, I got this all meat one. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of, that little bit of lettuce. Comes <laughs> with one of these bread moments situation type deal. That gives me a creep how that looks. Pita bread, yes. Ugh. But um tastes good. So that is what I am having. I don't want to know what that sauce is because I feel like it would turn me <laughs> off, but I really like it. So, Questionable white sauce. <laughs> I just saw a TikTok. <laughs> Sorry, I have to say I just saw a TikTok of a girl using her vibrator in the emergency room lobby. I thank you, thank you, Amber, for sharing that. <laughs> yeah, see, that's on my mind because I just like saw that. Oh my god, my face looks so big right now. I'm like super swollen, so that's fun. It's just one week. I also uh, ordered some fountain drinks from the good old Chick Fil A, so that's on its way. That'll be here in like two seconds. All right, so I got my fountain drink. Now I'm just going to watch some catfish because we're currently watching an episode where they're about to go stake out a, what do you call them? A payphone. Because supposedly someone's using the payphone. I don't even know. Catfish, I tell you. But Okay, <laughs> can we just talk about the fact that she got Mediterranean food from one place and then either Ubered or DoorDashed Chick-fil-A simply for drinks. <laughs> like, Jesus. <laughs> My cane, which, which I, I don't, don't use anymore. anymore. I, I haven't used it in, it's, it's been a couple weeks now. So. Wow. I walk on my own. I'm capable of walking on my own. I had some milk chocolate moment, milk. little pieces. Um, I also had some of these. It's not milk, you guys. It's milk. These cheddar cheese Pringles. I am a snacky gal. I'm not going to lie. Right now we're playing um, Blockus Duo. I used to play Blockus all the freaking time. And it's only for four players, but... I looked up two-player games, and I found Blockus Duo, and I about died. So this is what it looks like. 
Uh, did you already take a turn? Mm -hmm. You did? Okay, so... You have to try to get rid of all your pieces, but you have to strategically put them and they can only be like touching the tip, the corner of your color. I'm white. So yeah, it's actually really fun. The original is a lot more colorful and it's four players with like green, yellow, purple, and blue, I think. Sorry, I know that I'm letting her ramble, and this is an unedited, you know, I, I haven't watched it yet. It's a blind react, and I'm just showing simply what she puts on. <laughs> I, I know some of it's boring. I know. <laughs> but, I mean, at least she's not doing scratch art. She's playing a game that uh, seems to, you got to use your mind. So, that's good. Okay, you guys, so it is next day, that's why I'm looking a little wild child here. I actually went to sleep crying, crying myself to sleep. Um, I'm just taking off my makeup so I can get in the shower. So this isn't like, like I know when people hate when people are like, I'm going through something, but I don't feel like talking about it. I know people hate that, which I find so weird. I feel like sometimes people just want to feel less alone. So they say, you know, I'm going through something. Keep me in your prayers, thoughts. But sometimes they're just not ready to share what they're going through. And sometimes when you're going through she does not share anything with us about her actual personal life. She shares with us the things she buys, the food she eats, and the injuries she sustains. That's it. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen anything else that I haven't seen, but that's all I've seen. She, she doesn't show us her with her friends or, you know, she doesn't talk to us about why she's upset. She just says she's upset. And we're all supposed to, I don't know, be her hug box? Like, that's not what this is about, homegirl. Something especially painful or hard. Just the way that you are as a person changes. I'm waiting for the apology. So I think that's why a lot of people, you know, say, I'm going through something, but I don't feel like talking about it right now. I just, like, want to let you know that that's why, you know... I might seem down or something. So, I get it. Just like, don't I talk never about find it. We won't say anything. That, like, at all. Sometimes I feel like it might just be a cry for help, a cry for just, hey guys, you know, I just, I don't want to feel alone. So, positive energy. <laughs> so, damn, yeah, I had a lot of foundation on. I didn't even realize. Um, yeah, so what I'm trying to say is I am going through something right now that is absolutely soul crushing. What? Like, there's things in life that happen that you're, <laughs> you just want to be pinched and woken up from the nightmare. And that is currently what's happening. And I just want, like positivity and good energy of course i will tell you guys about it when i'm ready literally nobody knows not a single person no family members nothing i just i don't know anyways I need all right how many of us know what's going on jade is obviously sick of her shit she's ready to be done I think this might be what's going on. Jade's pulling back or is ready to dip. It's It's got to be one of those. If nobody knows anything, she goes, none of my family members, like nobody. She didn't say not my girlfriend. No, she didn't say that. I think that's what's been going on for a while. And I speculated about it in my comment section. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Yeah. I need to uh, get my shit together. Go take a shower. Because <laughs> I am looking crazy. 
Oh, before I go, oh my god, look at all this like cat and dog fur. Me and Twinkie were just like cuddling hardcore before I came in here. But I, I do want to say it's not health related because I don't want people to get like scared with my health. It's not health related, so girl, we don't worry about that. We so I have had this mirror for years now, and it's just what I use. It's literal filth. It has makeup all over it, and that's kind of like the mirror I have. A hot minute ago. Um, I'd say, I don't know, half a year ago, I dropped it on my way to my friend's house because I was staying the night and I broke it. I only said, you know what? I need a new mirror. Like, this is bad luck too. Old, done for. So I got this one. Isn't it so cute? Oh my god, I love it. I got it off of Amazon. You can actually move this part, thankfully, because I probably want it like. Hey. Yeah, yeah, I love this. <laughs> Definitely a mere glow up. So right now we're just playing Uno and we ordered a slushie from McDonald's. Uh, this is the blue <laughs> raspberry, I think. She likes the cherry one, so that's what she's having. But yeah, these are only like 170 calories, which is pretty low calorie and they're so freaking good. And she had to again order a slushy which is essentially a drink she told us it's like 12 or 15 dollars for one coke from mcdonald's to get delivered how much you think that slushy was <laughs> those two slushies makes my tongue blue okay so there is a grocery haul that is about to take place <laughs> So, uh, I got four of these cauliflower gnocchi lean cuisines because they're honestly Frozen really freaking delicious. Food. I'm a texture gal, and texture is creeping out, but I love the texture of this. And then we're gonna be making some meatballs and doing a little bit more of meal prepping. So we got some ground turkey, and she got some hot Italian sausage. Hell yeah. She puts that in her eggs. Hell yeah. But I put the black bean quinoa burger that you Yeah, you end up having corn in your eggs, bro. And we got some sauces, a buffalo sauce, and... A general so sauce. Tons of broccoli. Oh wait. That is cabbage. Not really broccoli. broccoli. So we got cabbage and tons of broccoli. And over here, some eggs. I know you guys asked me about my egg allergy. I've tried to explain. Oh my god. That it's an egg intolerance, and as of like the last year or so, it's gotten a lot better, so. Isn't that surprising? The last year or so, hmm, what's been different the last year or so? Oh yeah, wifey. Yeah, weird. All right. Happy about that. And then we got a really big thing of chicken tenderloins, again, for some meal prepping, so. That is the grocery haul. Hello. So I was supposed to have a lymphedema specialist appointment today, but I'm freaking fortunately, I had to reschedule. Well, they called me to reschedule, and I'm just like, but what? I guess the lymphedema specialist got sick, and I had to reschedule. So I am sad about that. It's possible it's possible okay i don't know that she's lying but really she's been avoiding that lymphedema specialist for how many years now yeah because uh, it would have been my first appointment but anyways i'm actually just about to straighten my hair usually i'll take it in sections and such but i just want to deal with like a once over i'm not trying to like make it all perfect or anything but i do want to talk to you guys about what i said 
Oh, is the uh, apology the coming now with five minutes left in the video? I just want to say I'm sorry for being offensive. I'm sorry for being a hypocrite. Sometimes I literally forget that celebrities are human beings, just like the rest of us, with feelings and disabilities. And I will safely and truthfully and embarrassingly admit that I was being ableist by even mentioning that conspiracy. I had so many of you message me to talk to me about how, you know, there's different levels of blindness and so many of you who watch me are blind and do struggle and I feel horrible for Good. hurting you guys and for being offensive and ableist and even speculating on someone else's health good or anything that serious about their life like i am truly so sorry this is just a very good example of how i have a lot to learn about life who is she who is she this is this is not the same person this is not the same person we saw even three days ago when she came out with that dumbass video saying Stevie Wonder isn't blind. Like, gosh, that's so horrible, but this girl is somebody different. I don't recognize her. Different people, situations. You know, I like to think that I have good common sense. I've been told in my life by several that my common sense... I'm more street smart slash common sense smart than I am, like, book smart. Cool. You're neither. But I feel like I street am smart. an actual idiot uh -huh. in this situation. Common sense, um, the empathy side of me, the respect side of me, the moral side of me should have known, Amberlynn, this is stupid, this is offensive, and this is wrong. And for that, I am truly sorry. And I can only learn more and gain more knowledge um, in this subject. But I am very, very sorry. I just hope that you guys can forgive me. I wonder if she's going to apologize for clickbaiting thyroid cancer. Because that's the apology I'm waiting for, personally. Like, that was cold. And if you can't, I totally understand as well. You were Let's watch it. You were I would have been your bed for the first time. I took a real deep breath. I ignore all the warning signs. I just can't wait to attach sometimes. You make a coffee, but I'd rather have a tea. Just one more thing. You don't want to call me. I'll be back in your bed tonight. Let's just ignore all the warning signs. You were gone when I woke up in your bed for the first time. I took a real deep breath. I saw a little box of Torrid that we have not gone through, so I figured we could just pull out a couple things here. What is Amber Lynn if not the actual spokesperson for capitalism, you know? These two, and give them a go. Uh, ever since my ankle, <sighs> I'm healing, but can't walk correctly quite yet. Girl. Oh, it's rather annoying. Okay, so first we have a size four. Oh, I was gonna use this as like an undershirt and an over, but mainly under. It's just like this lace situation tip deal. It's literally called mock neck lace turtleneck. So. We'll try that under something. And then a size six t-shirt. It's just white with these blue stripes. Like I said, I love tees like this. Okay, so we got the sweater on. You guys are on the cat tree, by the way. This is how it looks. It is a little see-through. She doesn't look any smaller It at is all. what it is. I do like it though. Sleeves are perfect. Oh, Riddles. She's, She's up on here. here. She's like, what are you doing? I'm using my cat tree. 
Well, I'm, I'm using, using it as a tripod. tripod. Like, like, you guys are on a tripod already, but I'm putting the tripod on the cut tree. As for this lace doodad, um, we'll just have to try that on another day, like, when I'm actually styling it, and then I'll show you guys. So I was doing torrid, where I was just doing, like, a few torrid moments per few vlogs. Like, every vlog I tried to have, like, a torrid try on, and people were hating that so bad. So they were like, just do it all in one video. So I did it, and then people hated that, so I don't know. Like, I hauled the clothes. I think people hated it because you were supposedly bed bound and backtracking from your horrible dangling foot <laughs> just tried on the clothes so either way you guys aren't happy so i'm just gonna do it my way and for the people who like my content and appreciate my content for what it is i appreciate you but it's actually been quite a bit since i uploaded so that's why i want to get this video up i'm just kind of going through some personal shit i also want to let everyone know that there will not be a so raw video People weren't liking those very much either. So I guess I don't feel too bad by taking a break from them. I'm just not sure how long. Right now, we're just going to be vlogging. No real structure, folks. Just how we like it. <laughs> so anyways, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Alright. So. There it is. She apologized for being ableist towards Stevie Wonder. But not for clickbaiting thyroid cancer so much so that she had to change the title to risk of thyroid cancer <laughs> but okay i mean you know what she said she has a lot to learn and it's not often that she actually admits that so that's a good thing all right i will be coming back soon with part two of my ankle gate analysis and I'll probably be back for another react very, very soon. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed, too. Thank you. Bye.